What's up everybody, here's a look at the new PlayStation 5 gameplay for the demo Lumen in the Land of the Night. This has to be the right way. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we use the cinematic versions, which would typically only be used in film. There are around a million triangles each. And thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Okay, let's keep going. We've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below.
demo runs on our Chaos Physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. <laughs> Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. That's promising. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any light touch. source can move while it still having be. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. So with Nanite, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5. Not much time left. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. The portal, it's open. Don't fail me now. What's next?